Hi all, this is a quick video to demonstrate how to use Office 365 to work on a document collaboratively. So what we're going to do is after we've logged into Office 365, we're going to go into our OneDrive space, our cloud storage. And cloud storage will show you all the documents you have already created and are stored in the cloud and you can also create new documents here. So I'm going to click on this new button and I'm going to choose the type of document I want to work on. So let's say we're working on a PowerPoint. Initially, a blank PowerPoint will open, and what I usually tell students to do is to name this PowerPoint immediately because you will not be prompted to name this otherwise. So we can call this our test presentation. And now, when we're going to be working on this collaboratively with our peers, what you want to do is come over here to the right-hand side where it says Share, and you're going to click on Share. Now, you can share this with anybody in our organization, and the way that you will do this is to put in their username, and it will automatically populate. So, for instance, if we put in our test student here, Tim Tebow, after putting in a few characters, his name will automatically populate, and all we need to do is click on his name. By default, Tim Tebow will have editing rights, so he will be able to work on this with me. You can change this to can view, which would allow him to see it but not actually work on it. And that's really all you need to do. If you have additional people that you want to share this with, you would do the same thing. You would just type in the username of the person you want to share this with, and you click on their name so that it appears, and then you are going to click share. Once it's been shared, the other users should be able to access this by logging into their Office 365 account. So for instance, we have Tim Tebow's account open over here. And if we go into his OneDrive space, in order to find the document that I just created, he's going to go into OneDrive, but he's going to look for it in Shared With Me, because this is a document that has been shared. So when we go over to Shared With Me, you will see here right at the top is the latest document that has been shared with him so he can click on this and he will now be able to make changes to this as well by clicking edit presentation and then edit in browser just a quick side note if you are working in PowerPoint in the online version you can do that you will not have every single tool available to you that you would have in the desktop version but for the most part you will have everything that you will need to create it and everything will be saved automatically when you are working in the online environment whereas if you want to use the full desktop version and click edit in PowerPoint you can but you just have to make sure that you save your changes. One other side note, if you are working on this with your peers at the same time, you want to talk to each other about who is working on what aspect of the presentation because there is the potential to erase each other's work. So this was just a little quick intro as to how to create and share a document in Office 365 with peers.